It's June 30th and about three o'clock in the afternoon. And I've come out to one of our local tree service businesses in the area. And I'm collecting some wood chips here that they've just thrown out in the back of their property. These ones have been out here for a couple of years probably. And uh, this is a much cheaper alternative than buying mulch at a typical garden center. So I've come here today and I'm filling up our trailer here. As you can see, four by eight foot trailer. And maybe I'll even come back for some more if that's okay with the person here. Good way to get uh, cheap mulch for your garden. It's not as clean as some of the stuff you might buy, but it's still pretty good. So here's the nice trailer load of mulch I got just after getting home. It's nice and finely chipped not really started to rot yet even though it was in an older pile that he had probably got a couple cubic yards here i'm estimating and when you consider now around here a cubic yard sells for about 50 to 55 dollars a cubic yard so there'd be a hundred dollars worth of uh, mulch here if you were to buy it at a typical landscaping place or uh, from a nursery center or a big box store even worse there because then you'd be buying in smaller bags instead of bulk. Hopefully I can go back and even get a bit more if I need it, but this will work really well. My hosta garden needs some new mulch. The original mulch that I put in there three or four years ago now is starting to wear out or degenerate. So this will top it up nicely and give it a nice new overcoat. So here's the hosta garden I was just talking about. I've just started clearing some of the weeds out of this section here with the hoe and I'll be going through it. Most of it's just grass and small weeds that have to be just scraped off the top. A lot of vine type weeds and a few other types in here. Shouldn't take me too long to do that. The original mulch, you can still see some of it down here, but it's starting to wear out or degenerate into the soil here as you can see a lot of weeds I had actually done this earlier this spring but they've grown back in again largely because there's no mulch on top and once you get a mulch on top then it's a lot harder for the weeds to regrow so you can see here I got buttercups and things and I haven't really minded those being in here flowering just for the bugs and things but uh, you can see the weeds are starting to take over in between the hostas, so I'll be clearing these all out later tonight or tomorrow morning. Watering it thoroughly and then putting the new mulch on. And I'll do a video of that when it's all done too. So here's the hosta garden now after most of the weeds have been removed. There's still the odd little sprig of weeds in there, but most of them have been taken out now. Now I think what I'll do is rake this to get the compost and pine needles that are in there now flattened out as best as possible. Then I may water it or I may just wait till later today when hopefully it will rain. But I want to get the soil wet and then cover it with the new mulch. And in that way hopefully the mulch will keep the soil moisture in there as long as possible. But right now the soil's somewhat dry. So I've moved the whole trailer load of mulch down into the hosta garden now. You can see I've got it piled throughout the garden. I basically just tried to put piles not only around the plants themselves, but just space it out across the garden so when I come to rake it out, I will hopefully have a relatively even layer. I think I pretty well had enough for this garden. Some areas I can see will be a little thick and others will be a little thin, but I think it should work out well to about a two inch thick, two or three inch thick layer overall. So that's what I wanted. Get these begonias covered in a bit better. They've been doing okay as it has been, but They'll enjoy having their roots more uniformly kept moist.
for sure. Now, sometimes you have to just hand scoop some to get it into plant in between plants. Oh, geez. So there you go, I've just raked out all the mulch and I had pretty much all I really needed. I could use another wheelbarrow or two, maybe. There's just a couple plants where I have, or a couple places where I have a bit of gap of mulch or a very thin layer of the mulch. That's about it though, it worked out pretty well. That one trailer load for this whole area. So I think that's pretty nice looking now. And they're a lot more protected if we go into a hot summer drought right now. This mulch will keep the ground cooler and moister. And that's what hostas like being a shade loving plant. They like to have their roots cool and moist. And that'll enable greater growth and greater health overall. So there's my Canada Day project, putting mulch on the hosta garden.